Warning! The following video will contain language of a frank and explicit nature. Viewer discretion is advised. If you have a problem with language like that, stop watching now. Hey guys, Dave here. And, um, yeah. I just gave a brief uh, review of the premiere episode of Black Lightning from last night. And I gotta tell you, the first 20 minutes had me absolutely hooked. Watching the full episode... This is must-see TV for me. I have to watch this show every week. And the thing is, when I started thinking about street-level superheroes, I started seeing a contrast between Arrow and Black Lightning. Now, Arrow was a bold experiment, man. They wanted to try doing something gritty to try to start off. They were the first show to try to kick something off different from Smallville. And... First two seasons were banging. I loved it. I, you know, Deathstroke is still one of my favorite villains of all time on that show. It was great. Some of the things were a little iffy, like uh, the introduction of Sarah and whatnot. But I like the character. But she's just not in the comics. I had to deal with that. Diggle, not really a big thing in the comics as well. But they kind of changed it around. But here's the thing, guys. After some bad choices in later seasons of Arrow. People lost hope. And when they killed off Laurel Lance and pushed the Felicity smoke romance, it felt like a slap in the face to a lot of hardcore comic book fans. Now, when I've done roasts and whatnot of Arrow, I have tried. I have tried to do something creative to be a voice to the people behind the show to voice our concerns because nothing else seemed to be working. Now, Black Lightning, I gotta tell you guys, this show feels important. There was a street-level grit to it, an intelligence to it, being faithful to the characters that I truly feel like in this current climate... This show is important. It's a superhero show we need right now. And I can't wait to see more because they're taking the characters seriously. They're dealing with very gritty material seriously. And Arrow was trying to, but it feels like it became all about whatever the show's producers were trying to do rather than being faithful to the core of the comics. And that kind of sucks because I was a biggest booster for Arrow. I mean, yes, they kicked off The Flash and Legends of Tomorrow, and eventually they tied Supergirl to it, but I need to say something that both the creators of Arrow and Black Lightning need to hear. I put something on Twitter, and I absolutely meant that this is a good way. I said, this might be a little premature, but I think... Black Lightning may be the CW's new Arrow. I meant that as a gritty, street-level superhero show based on a comic book that we all grew up and love. Repeatedly, I have had response after response after response on Twitter saying one thing. Please don't insult Black Lightning like that. Arrow is might as well be a four-letter word and we don't want the taste in our mouths for it. That part I'm paraphrasing. But when it comes to street-level, gritty superhero shows, Arrow has become so tainted, so poisonous, so full of bile, that the fans don't want to associate it with Black Lightning. They don't want to associate it with something of quality that people are jumping on for. And like I said, maybe it's because Black Lightning has that new show smell. I don't know. But I can tell that the people that are creating the show is taking it seriously. Whereas Arrow, particularly Mark Guggenheim, has pissed off so many fans, pushing the Olicity romance, pushing her Felicity in our fucking faces, that it has ostracized so many people. In fact, even the Green Arrow comic book is diverging from the TV show 
by having a, a relatively new character who has been playing Red Arrow or, or Speedy or something, a half Asian, you know, half a sister of Oliver, will sacrifice herself to save Oliver's life in the comics. They are diverging. They are schisming. The comic book is not even trying to be on the same page as the show anymore. Which almost feels like it's being fair, considering that many people would say that Arrow stopped being true to the comics. Black Lightning is a good show. Now, here's the thing. His daughter, the Black Lightning's daughter, Thunder, is actually a black lesbian superhero. She has a relationship with Grace Choi, a woman with superhuman strength that rivals out of Superman. And the cool thing about Black Lightning is they planted the seed that it doesn't say necessarily part of one of the 52 Earths of uh, the Arrowverse, but it does say that there are other superheroes out there with powers. And they're trying to make comparisons to Black Lightning. Personally, I think that Black Lightning could easily, easily be a gateway for the Milestone universe. Now, this is the subsection of uh, DC Comics that uh, that featured a lot of African-American superheroes. This is the world that gave us Static Shock, Icon and Rocket, the Blood Syndicate, Hardware, and others I can't think of right now. If you wanted to do a show or, show or introduce a universe featuring minority superheroes, Black Lightning could be the perfect gateway for it. I mean, because he started it all decades before Milestone ever came up with it. So that could be an interesting way to go. To the people of Arrow, I truly fear that Black Lightning is going to be the final nail in the show's coffin because Black Lightning is doing everything right that Arrow isn't. You guys tried... It was an experiment. But so many people feel like you just gave a giant middle finger saying, fuck you to us, the comic book fans. And I truly no longer feel like the people that create the show Arrow gives a damn about fans like me. And there are a lot of us. You don't believe me? Take a look at the ratings. It keeps falling after falling. After bringing... Uh, Katie Cassidy back as Black Siren. Everyone's asking for a redemption arc. They want her to eventually become Black Canary and take her mantle back because Tina feels forced on us. It feels like a compromise. I have no disrespect or animosity to the actors on Arrow. I root for you guys. You guys put in mad hours, physical stunt work, I've got respect for you. But it feels like you've diverged too far from the source material. With uh, Curtis Holt being Mr. Terrific instead of Michael Holt, you jumped the gun and made a black gay superhero where in the comics that wasn't necessarily the thing. I was all for a little bit of diversity. I was all for it. But it feels like you've created a whole other character that people are very wishy-washy about. And you're still showing him at a diminished capacity compared to what he could be. Black Lightning has a black lesbian superhero that was always that way in the comics. This feels true to the source material, and we can't wait to see what's going to happen with Thunder. There have been mistakes made, and people have tried to compensate for it. All I can try to say to both shows, learn from your mistakes. I'm not trying to have hatred or animosity to the people of Arrow anymore. It's not healthy. But if you guys keep making mistakes, yeah, I'm going to still call them out in my roasts. Black Lightning, I haven't seen anything reason to roast you guys just yet. But beware, if I start to see you slipping, I'll let you know. What do you guys think? Please like, comment, subscribe, share, pass this bad boy around. Until next time, Dave signing off. Peace.